Just plain ordinary folks, the wife and me. Guess we never cared for a lot of fancy things and like the Joneses we never tried to be. Then we were young and healthy and sort of carefree, you know. We just took life for granted and figured later on we'd raise our family. Well, it came time we thought to have our first little baby. Then fate dealt us an awful blow, it seemed. As the doctor said to me, I'm awfully sorry, son. And I knew by the expression he had, it wasn't likely that I'd ever be a dad. But I said, doctor, surely this can't be. Why, I'm from a big family, oldest of seven. And to me, having little boys and girls around the home is sort of like a preview of heaven. But it was true, and we'd cry, and then we'd pray a bit. Finally, we just turned it over to God, because we believed that He'd take care of you. And that He did, almost miraculously, the way that it happened. And it was through the help of some of our close friends. This lady called us one day and said, would you take and raise two little old homeless boys? And she said, you know, they're twins. I know God must have smiled as he watched us there, cause he takes great pleasure like this when he answers a prayer. Almost unbelievable, best I remember. All we could do was just look at one another. Now we have two little old boys, all of our own to love, and they have their own real dad and mom. Boy, they were a lively pair, one over here and the other one over there. One climbing up on top of something, and the other one, well, he's hung up over there in his high chair. Well, time slipped away, and them boys, they've grown up a lot since then. Seems like just a long, long day. Reckon our job of raising them is just about to come to an end, but we've always tried to show them how to live God's way, and them boys, they've sure meant a lot to our home, no way I can relate our many thrills and joys, one of the greatest thrills in my whole life came the other day, when God reached down and saved them boys, why I've been worried, even cried over my failures, Trying to be a good dad Cause to me he's about the most important person In the life of a growing up lad I fretted when we didn't get to do some things together Or maybe go somewhere But God's fixed all that now And we'll get to make all that lost time up When we get up there While we'll skin every hill in heaven And climb up every tree Them boys and me I've even been thinking about a fishing trip out there on God's big glassy sea. Well, what I'm trying to say to you, Dad, is that if you've got some kids of your own, especially boys, why they'd rather be around you any time than playing with them old store-bought toys. As you walk down this road of life with them boys, they're walking right behind you. If you'll live for Jesus and honor God, the chances are, them boys, they will too. This time. 
to brighten my way So remind me Remind me Dear Lord All nothing good 
have I done? Deserve God's own son I'm not worthy Of the nails in his hands Yet he chose this road to Calvary Just to die in my place Oh, why he loved me I can't understand But remember, Lord, I'm human, and humans forget, so remind me, remind me, dear Lord, oh, please remind
wash our sins away. Jesus, lead us right and help us through. You can see the wrong that we all do. Lead, guide, direct our minds today.
His name is voiced in every conversation. He's now become a superstar, they say. But oh, the curse it's bringing to our nation. As men profane his holy name each day. Just and I don't care word. How can we use his name so recklessly? Our only hope is in this one word. Whosoever will may come word. He's more than just a swear word. He's the precious Son of God. It's hard to understand how those around us are plunging to a lost eternity. But all the while they say the name of Jesus and curse the only name that sets men free. Just and I don't care word. How can we use his name so recklessly? Our only hope is in this one word. Whosoever will may come word. He's more than just a swear word. He's the precious Son of God. He's the precious Son of God. Oh, they tell me that he smiles on his cheek. sorrows all away oh, oh. and they tell me that no tears ever come come again In that lovely land of cloudy Storm clouds rise. Oh, they tell me 
For peace, but pride got in your way. You thought money was enough, but it really wasn't much. There's just more to life than wealth, I'm sure you'd say. There's a man with a flag, he wants to take your hand and lead you to a land far away. Trust him now, every hour, he has saving power. His name is Jesus, and he'll wash your sins away, sins away, sins away, sins away. Sins away. 